So for today's thrift video, it's actually gonna be like a little bit different. Not really. I'm actually gonna be thrifting for myself because if you guys watched my little like come thrifting with me for the whole trends video, I didn't have enough time because the store was closing and I really wanted to come back. I do have like a whole Goodwill outlet haul for you guys. Just last time when I went, I didn't bring my camera. So I will have that entire haul for you guys at the very end of the video. But other than that, I'm just gonna thrift for myself. We're gonna see what is here and yeah, let's just get into it. little crochet moment with this top. I actually just thrifted something exactly like this. This little cropped sweater that's new with tags from Tilly's. Look, it was $23 there and it's only $6 here, which I feel like that's still a little bit pricey, but I really like the color of this. Also a little bit irrelevant, but I do see so many flannels at the thrift. I mean, that's not really big news. It's pretty common that you'll find a lot of flannels at the thrift store, but look, just this in one section, there's four, so you don't have to go to like Urban Outfitters and pay like hundreds of dollars. This top right here, can we talk about the sleeves and the bottom of this? It's just an extra small, so I know it's gonna be way too tight around my sleeves, but like if I got this, I would probably crop it, which would be kind of pointless because the bottom is really pretty, but I'm into the sleeves a lot. This sheer BB little long sleeve would go so cute with like a sparkly bra underneath. I'm telling you, so many flannels, and this is kind of like the classic one. I swear, this is the last time I'm gonna show you guys a flannel, but this is actually such a cute flannel it's really soft it's one of the like really flimsy ones kind of like cotton material you know i feel like a lot of flannels are stiff but this one is actually really cute this sweater with my hair would that not be such a look also i don't really know why i'm looking in like the long sleeve section right now i just feel like last time i was here i didn't really look at this section so that's why we're just looking at everything also side note these little cardigans i'm obsessed with lately so like if i were to get this one i would probably crop it and make it really short and i would honestly probably just button the top or maybe just like the top two and kind of have my belly hang out i've been loving that look lately this off the shoulder kind of brandy melville moment this is only five dollars it's not brandy but it reminds me of it the length of it is just a little bit too long but i feel like it'd be so cute if you like hemmed it and made it like a little bit poofy can we talk about this little guest top it's missing a couple of rhinestones but look it has like the thermal underneath it this is so freaking cute. Can we talk about these little like coin purses? This kind of goes with like the whole beat bag trend that I was talking about, but they're so cute and mini. You can put like carry this as like your little travel makeup purse. So if you know, you can put this in your purse with your everyday makeup just to touch up. This little like Scott Disick moment going on. This with nothing underneath would be so cute for like a chilly summer because it kind of has bell sleeves in a way. I just love the little detailing right here. I found this BCBG patch, which is pretty expensive. It's $8, but it is new with the tent. In case you couldn't tell already, they turned off the music. And I'm really uncomfortable in here filming because I feel like I have to whisper really, really quietly. So if I sound really weird, that's why I'm trying to be like, shh. That, they turned the music back on, but look at the bottoms. This looks like Santa Claus. Like if I was going to some like biker themed Christmas party, that would probably be the only time I would wear this because there's nothing really special about it. Plus this kind of reminds me of like some medical field. A little staple in my like spring summer wardrobe is using these little silky PJ like tops over graphic tees instead of wearing jackets, just so when it gets like a little bit chilly. If you guys watch my thrift videos, you know that I do this all the time. I always talk about it in my thrift videos. So something that I've never actually tried to thrift is bathing suits. So I'm gonna go ahead and look through this rack because I feel like so many thrifters like that I see on Depop and everything find the cutest bathing suits. And I don't know, I think bathing suits are extremely overpriced. So let's see if we can find some in here. Like this little slip wrap honestly really freaking cute are you kidding me this little color right here really cute top obviously bathing suit but you can wear it as a shirt i don't know it's seeming me like very early 2000s vibe by the way i haven't been showing you guys the majority of the bathing suits but there's so many cute ones i'm just not showing you guys any because i'm really just trying to be on the hunt for a one piece i feel like that's like the number one thing i'm really trying to thrift is a one piece bikini like this one right here isn't that bad but again we're going into the more bigger sizes now and i have no tits so that would never fit me so here's the thing i have literally looked through all of these racks like do you see how many racks there are yeah i've looked through all of them those are like all the t-shirts tanks and i have honestly found like nothing i think i found like five shirts that i'm gonna try on for you guys in the fitting room and these are the 
ones that I found that I'm like not gonna try on that were like kind of worth showing this little sun drop top and then this really pretty like bedazzled Hawaii top that you would crop I feel like would be so cute this skirt it's so heavy this would be so perfect with like a cute little black Y2K tank top and a little choker okay and this is skirt with all these little patterns and it's only five dollars by the way when I worked at Urban these skirts were so popular and I keep seeing these like all throughout the rack but I'm just not showing them because personally I would never wear a skirt like this but I just thought I should let you know because here they're only five dollars one of my favorite little skirts you guys know I talked about these kind of in my trends video except this is a, like a silk one the little long ones I love these type of skirts personally I like skirts better than dresses because you can kind of be more versatile with them you know you can put a graphic tee with it you can put a cute little lingerie top there's just so many different ways you can style a skirt I am now in the fitting room I'm sorry for like the lack of footage that I got because surprisingly there honestly wasn't that many things to show you guys this time I went through like every rack and I don't know I don't know if I was just uninspired but I did get a couple of things to try on for you guys I am upset because I really like this skirt right here but sadly it just looks like it's way too big but this is like the perfect little skirt okay but isn't this just literally like the perfect little thing? I'm obsessed with it. I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, I thought I could make it work, but I'm not gonna be able to. And just to show you guys what I'm wearing, which is literally just a dress that I'm pretty sure I got from AMI club wear and then my little crybaby necklace that I got from Hot Topic and just, you know, some pearl earrings and the same shoes that I always wear. If you guys saw my look like from Payless, you know. I just love dresses because you could just throw them on and it looks like you tried but really took you like five seconds to get ready the first little thing is just this victoria's secret little slip dress it actually has this cute little cutout and it is a large i honestly didn't think this was gonna fit because usually if it's a large it never fits like around here but it fits pretty well because i'm probably gonna wear a little like graphic tee under this or something and i think that will be so cute and this one is seven dollars which is like a little bit pricey but for victoria's secret i feel like it's pretty good considering how much these do retail for just slip dresses in general retail for like a lot of money here is that little bathing suit top that i was talking about this one is five dollars honestly so freaking cute i probably wouldn't wear this as a bathing suit top just because i don't know i don't want to i like to tan my little belly so this I would wear as a shirt but so freaking cute like is this not with a little flower and then I just put these little fake knockoff adidas sweats that I found that are for seven dollars which honestly no thanks if they were for maybe like two dollars I would get them because they are a little bit baggy but because I thrift adidas sweats in general for so cheap I feel like seven dollars is a little excessive not trying these little pants on for you guys because I thought they would fit me they're a size four but they are way too tight they're like stiff it's kind of these little knockoff dickies from Target and look they still have the tag on them and everything I love this style of a pant I'm so upset that it's way too small because these look so cute with chains hanging from them like that brown corduroy skirt it looks kind of okay you know it's a little bit big right here but then when I turn around it just fits so weird it's like way too tight right here and then just way too loose on the sides anyways I um paired up with this little top that I think is so cute in the day and this one says it's five o'clock somewhere i actually see these type of tops all the time except they're bedazzled but there's something about this one i feel like that's way cuter like tied into a knot like this because it is a little bit baggy on me and i kind of like the fit plus it's only a dollar so it's like why not you know why not <laughs> So this is one of the bathing suits that I found. Honestly, it's perfect because I'm trying to do, you know, the whole monochromatic look with my hair. I'm not really into like bathing suits that kind of tie. I'm more into the bandeau just because I don't like uneven tan lines, but I really like the way this fits to be honest. And it's only $2. And then I tried it on with this skirt. It was way cuter, like not on this, you know, it's, it's kind of weird, but I had to try it on with something because I have no other bottoms. If you're kind of weird about bathing suits, I feel like thrifting bathing suit tops is one thing versus bottoms. And then I put just this little, I feel like it could be a shirt if you wanted it to, but I think it's more of like a bikini color. Up. There's so much color happening here, but next is this little green, lime green top. Again, green never picks up on my camera. If you watch my channel, you don't know that. It's so annoying, but the top of this is so cute. But there is like a fat stain right here. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. 
but I mean the shirt is only a dollar so I feel like even if I like cut it out like this ooh honestly if I just took some scissors and just cut around like that because it does have like a little band right here so it'll be fine I feel like that would be a really cute little top in the dresses section I found this little thing which honestly is not my style at all I don't even know why I grabbed it this bottom just makes me look like a weird pilgrim also these little strands you're supposed to tie them like in the back if you can see that and obviously this is not supposed to be off the shoulder but this just looks even more weird like that I don't know definitely not my style I don't know why I tried this on plus it's like seven dollars so no maybe it feels like flowy and not so weirdly skin tight it's just the way my body is it's like always so tight here and then poofy and then loose on the bottom that happens with me with like every skirt like the brown one this next little dress you guys are gonna think is super ugly but i'm no hint to it so it's just this little beach cover up i don't know kind of giving me like tarzan vibes on the bottom right here and just all these sequins this is definitely like early 2000s i thought i looked like a mean girl like you know a huge bitch in like some early 2000s movie but <laughs> james thought i looked like a mom on the beach this is the very last thing that i was gonna try on but i'm gonna pass on it because it is dirty a lot in like some of these spots but do you see all these sparkles sparkles it's kind of like this beach cover up because it's a little bit like of a towel material plus it's op and yeah i don't know it's just super cute it's four dollars i feel like the perfect little beach cover up it's a new day and i'm just gonna show you guys everything that i got from the goodwill that you guys just saw and then after this i'll do the whole goodwill outlet haul now starting with this little slip dress you guys know i'm obsessed with the lingerie section i always talk about it mainly because i just love these slip dresses i know it was popular to wear it this way like five years ago with the whole plain white tee but i still really love it i wear it like almost all the time mainly because it's so versatile like if you want you can wear it to bed you can wear it with a graphic tee underneath you can wear it just alone and like strap some heels on and really like dress it up during the nighttime. i just love it and they're so cheap too i mean this one was seven dollars because it was victoria's secret but again if you get a normal one it's like two dollars like not name brand now something that i actually didn't show you guys in the fitting room mainly because i already showed it in like one of my previous um like come thrifting with me i just never ended up grabbing it and then i saw threads obsessed posted like a similar picture with this top and i was like oh my god that's such a cute way to wear it and then every time i went back it was still there so i had to get it so it's just again this vintage little victoria's secret not really vintage but this victoria's secret little open thing that's worn as lingerie but it's so cute as a top this little bathing suit top that i'm definitely gonna wear as a shirt it just reminds me of like a mean girl in a movie maybe if i go to some cute little beach town and i'm not really wearing a bathing suit then i think this will be like the perfect little look for it i did end up getting like the blue bathing suit top i just love this i don't know why it's taking me so long to thrift bathing suits it's not that bad and this is so cute it was only like two dollars versus you know just to get a plain blue one like that at a regular store would have been way more expensive so i like it because you know it matches with this so this right here is totally something my mom used to wear in the early 2000s and it's just this cute little skirt you know not skirt but you can tie it and make it as a skirt and have the little top showing i just think that is such a freaking cute look this little it's five o'clock somewhere again you could wear it on the beach i think it's so cute just like knotted up with some denim shorts just an easy outfit plus it was a dollar now i'm going to show you guys everything that i got from the goodwill outlet now if you don't watch my channel and you're not really then you don't know what the heck that is it's important because it is different so at the goodwill outlet everything is actually by the pound so it's a dollar and 54 cents to the one that i go to it's like around there and what's cool about it is it's all like trash bins like huge trash bins and every like 20 minutes they come out and they replace them with new clothes so it's like a constant treasure hunt some people hate it almost everybody that i've taken there has hated it because it's so hard to find good things but this is going to be kind of cool because you'll see in comparison of like everything that you're about to see is one trip it took me like two hours to find all this and then the stuff that you you just saw was one trip and it took like about two hours to find all that so you'll see like how much difference it is i just love the goodwill outlet so much more and if again if you want to see more in depth and like see exactly what it looks like I exactly looks like i have so many videos on that and yeah let's just get to it so since i started with the lingerie section you know first i guess i'll start the lingerie section here now i surprisingly i don't know if i put like the energy out there but like the first bin that i looked at was a lingerie bin which 
nine times out of ten all the bins are kind of categorized sometimes they're messed up but i found like a lingerie bin and i got so many good things which by the way everything that you see here is going to be up on my depop which is going to be at viola demion i forgot to mention that all the stuff that i kept for myself i left at my house so you're not going to see that here but oh well i feel like i still got a lot of good things so starting with this is this not like the cutest little thing i am so upset that i don't have big tits because this is the cutest thing to have with my hair then i got this little pink little lingerie top i am again obsessed with these i have so many of these at this point that i think i'm just gonna throw this in i almost kept this but i just thought you know what i don't need another one and it has an adorable like little rose on it has all these pearl details i feel like it's just perfect for summer i got a little corset not like corset but it kind of has like the backings similar to a corset and i'm pretty sure i've actually seen this at the thrift store so i think this is just something that wasn't really sold at a regular thrift store so they threw it like to the outlets which is what the outlets is everything is pretty much stuff that um either didn't sell at a regular thrift store or they had too much inventory so it goes over there which is why there's a lot of messed up things there so this isn't really like a lingerie top but it's still kind of similar it is sheer so this could be like a cute little a bikini cover-up i found one bodysuit now this is so freaking pretty this literally reminds me of something i girl that you would see on like the little depop i just think it is so cute again it has like a little rose on it the only thing is that it's a little bit messed up like right here so i think i'm gonna have to cut part of it off because it's all like fuzzed out last little thing that i got it's not really lingerie but it, i feel like it kind of fits in that little area is this top it is guess and it has the cutest little like tag on the back and i actually found the matching pants to it but since i didn't take my camera this time i couldn't show you guys but the pants were like extremely like bleached out so they looked really weird like they were dirty they were messed up but they were like flare high-waisted pants and it was exactly this material and it would have been the cutest two-piece but the pants were they just were unsavable i could not get them i found the prettiest little like tea dress like this is totally something you know if you're going to a castle not even a castle but i feel like you know if you're going to a tea party just the way that it's shaped this crochet dress which is so freaking perfect but the strap is like coming off a little bit so i'm gonna have to sew that but other than that the material on this is amazing it's super heavy the bottom is a little bit messed up though so if you can see that you're not gonna see that i'm terrible but like right here it is like messed up but you could easily just cut that i don't know i don't mind it i think it is so cute again the perfect little beach cover up and then it does have like a little slip underneath so you could just cut this off and then just have this in my area never any good graphics ever 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 so i go to the outlets for all my graphics i swear they have the best starting with this a little harley so this isn't a graphic but it was the only kind of shirt that i got so i'm going to kind of include it and i just love the pattern on this like are you kidding me I feel like this would be really cute if you cropped it a little bit and threw it over like a black slip dress I also found this beige little Harley so cute with little palm trees just gives it that beach vibe the front is kind of eh but I really loved the back of it this little property of pink Floyd little action going on you know you always want a good band tee this I don't know what it is but i just love graphics like this the car on it was so cute honestly like kind of how i'm wearing this it's the perfect fit to have this and then throw a slip dress over it because if you kind of have the slip dress really hang this little peak of the car would be adorable vans off the wall super mini don't even think this is gonna fit me just right but i looked at this and i was like this is the perfect shirt for a monochromatic all green look basic ass bacardi one but you could rip it up you know do some I don't know when was that popular like 2012 when everyone was ripping their tees another baggy vans tee i actually have the same one up on my depop currently it's just a smaller size this one i just had to get i thought about not getting it but i was like this is just so cute and it's says puppies make me happy it's from justice and like the letterings are glittery i had to get it i was gonna keep this for myself but i don't like tight fitting t-shirts i always talk about that i don't know it just makes me uncomfortable i don't like sweating in it this little i think this is bob marley i'm pretty sure yeah so just this i really loved the blue coloring on this one and the last graphic that i got is just <laughs> 
you know, this little kind of crop, I'm pretty sure. Just Guns N' Roses, nothing really special, you know, I feel like this font is everywhere. These little, just pale pink, they're not, they kind of have like that dress feel to them, but they're not. They have a little cotton feel to them. Okay, why is my color changing? It's making me look so ugly, but I just think these are so perfect, and it has a little belt loop, so like, if you put a sparkly belt through it, I feel like that would be so cute. This little gingham skirt that actually I think is Forever 21. I just love it because it has that little tweed material. You know I have found some juicy sweats. I always find some type of juicy. This this one just kind of sucks though because it actually doesn't have anything on it but I always talk about how you can just find bottoms that have like some type of logo and then the top can be plain for lore or vice versa you know it doesn't even have to be juicy but this one was just a plus because it was and I found three of the same corduroy pants so I'm just gonna show you you know the colors there's tan purple and a gray the last little bottom that I got is this corduroy skirt so this is Union Bay clothing and I don't know I just loved the little zippers on it considering it's hundred degrees outside I wasn't picking up that many sweaters but I did get some that I thought were worth it this little Nike zip up that not zip up but hoodie that I cropped honestly because I just think it's cuter crop this little Pooh Bear one where it's like all Christmas the sleeves are a little messed up like they're kind of bleached but again I did crop this and I just thought this was so freaking adorable for like the Christmas time even though that's so far away but I still had to get it and then I got one windbreaker this Columbia one honestly Columbia I feel like just has the best little retro type of colors. Last but not least, all the denim that I got. I didn't pick up that much, but I feel like it got a good amount. Starting with these little Bermuda shorts. I actually thrifted the same pair, but in like a like dark blue that I styled in my last thrift video. So again, I don't have those to show you because I did take those home, but I just love Bermuda shorts for this summer. These amazing Dickies overalls. I don't know why, but I'm always finding Dickies overalls. Last time I went, it was like in the really pretty green ones. These are just a classic Wrangler little fit. They are a size 46 by 32. Now these I was actually really excited about because these are the BDG pants from Urban Outfitters. These are actually a size 24 and it is the high rise crop kick. So it's the ones that kind of fray out at the bottom. The last end that I got, I don't know why I said I got a good amount, but that's not a good amount, but I got this cute little bomber type jacket that I feel like would be so cute if you put some patches on it and that would feel like make it really vintage. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this entire little haul. See you guys in my next one. Bye!